I'm on a farm outside Omaha, Nebraska. Behind me you can see the famous ninja cow of Plattsmouth. The cow fell off a cattle truck about three months ago. She may not look too wild now, but for more than three months she was on the loose in this historic town and no one could figure out how to catch her. She would dart off into the woods whenever anybody tried. Cindy Clausen says she saw the cow passing through her yard about half a dozen times. Oh, we have lots of fertilizer in our yard. Looks like a pasture. There's plenty of cow pies all over the yard. <laughs> Police said they were baffled about how to catch the cow. We were a little stumped on what to do. I didn't receive any training on this in the police academy. They worried she'd be hit by a car doing damage to both. Authorities and local residents used feed, biscuits, this show cow, and her own calf to try to trap her, but she managed to escape each time. They dubbed her the ninja cow for her sneaky, elusive ways. Kind of like the Loch Ness Monster, it was the ninja cow of plasma that, that just continued to haunt us. <laughs> Finally, officials called in a team of cowboys led by Terry Grell, who chased her for nearly five miles. The trick, they say, was to go slow and easy because the cow had become so wary of people. The slower you go, the faster it is. If you go out and chase him, you'll chase him forever. Mr. Grell said the terrain was rough and the cow was tricky. When she got to an open spot, she'd shoot across it and get in the trees, and then she'd just kind of stand there and wait for you. She knew where, she, you know, you couldn't throw a rope or something on her. But they eventually caught her and didn't see any signs that she was a true ninja. Other than hiding under trees or uh, and jumping big logs and stuff like that, you know, that's pretty much... Uh, <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. She didn't have a bandana or nothing like that, or a sword or anything. City fathers say they've spent about six million dollars in the last few years to fix up the downtown, and they're planning to milk this story for all it's worth. Don't be surprised if next year you hear about Ninja Cow Days. For the Wall Street Journal, this is Joe Barrett in Plattsmouth, Nebraska.